As soon as we heard about it, we thought, okay, we'll pull the Peloni products, but already then we were spoke to our suppliers about how dangerous could this be, because they all come from the same factory. Um, within two days, we had a letter from our supplier that guaranteed that he has an external laboratory that tests all these products constantly, religiously. So we were, we were pretty confident in our product. We pulled our product until we got that letter. Once we received that letter, we felt confident that it wouldn't be a problem with us. So to answer your next question about how it affect business, it definitely did. A lot of people were scared, um, especially of the Russian, of the, the Poloni, the ham. A lot of the people were, but it didn't last for long. You know, the quarters, it's addictive. Yeah. <laughs> people crave it. So yeah. It, it did affect, and we did substitute. If people didn't want the ration, we'd put in more chips, we'd put in more, we'd swap it out, you know what I mean? We were accommodating. We understood people were very scared. As to us, but we felt confident with our suppliers that with their tests, their outsourcing tests, we were okay, you know? And you're telling me, of course, earlier that uh, you, you made your supplier sign some kind of a, 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 a note or an agreement to state that uh, their products are safe. Yeah, no, definitely. They were the ones where they were, they were willing to take responsibility at the end of the day. So they put their name behind the product. Where they were like, they gave us letters confirming that they were tested for listeriosis. They came back negative. So we took pride in that. We've done it. We've dealt with them for a long time. We only keep reputable companies supplying us. And we had confidence in them. And if you see their operation, you would too.